This is an impromptu vlog called History Hot Topic. And by the way, if you like this, please share the history out of it. It's based on a current event, something that I don't discuss for a litany of reasons on this channel, but it is usually related to a current news story. However, if you feel the need to check out a commentary on such things, uh, may I recommend Viva Fry's channel. I'll put the link right above here. Uh, you can click on that. He usually has something to say on the topic. However, whistleblowers are as American as jeans or apple pie, if you prefer. A whistleblower is an individual who, without authorization, reveals private or classified information about an organization. It's usually related to wrongdoing or misconduct. Whistleblowers generally state that such uh, actions are motivated by a commitment to the public interest, although the term was first used to refer to public servants who, were, uh, who made uh, known government mismanagement, waste, or corruption. It now covers the activity of any employer or officer of public or private organization who alerts a wider group of setbacks to their interest as a result of waste, corruption, fraud, or profit-seeking. The Whistleblower Protection Act of 1989 is a United States federal law that protects federal whistleblowers who work for the government and report the possible existence of an activity constituting a violation of law, rules, or regulations or misgovernment, uh, a gross waste of funds, abuse of authority, or substantial or specific danger to public health and safety, a federal agency violates the Whistleblower Protection Act if agency authorities take or threaten to take retaliatory personal action against any employee or applicant because of disclosure of information by that employee or applicant. There are some legal protections. Because whistleblowers are possible victims of retaliatory behavior, many jurisdictions uh, have enacted these sort of uh, whistleblower protection acts. They prove to be inadequate. But you know what? That's something that if you want to look into, you can follow through on your own time. I wanted to tell you about some uh, whistleblowers from the past, starting in 1773. This is where the history gets interesting to me. In 1773, confidential letters exposed by Benjamin Franklin proved the governor of Massachusetts misled Parliament to promote a military buildup in the New World. The governor was dishonorably discharged and exiled. In 1777, U.S. Naval Officer Samuel Shaw and Richard Marvin revealed the torture of British POWs by the Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Navy. The following year, the Continental Congress unanimously enacted Unanimously, unanimously enacted the first whistleblower protection law. 1872, Julius Chambers, one of America's first investigative journalists, admitted himself to New York's Bloomingdale Insane Asylum, published an expose proving a patient abuse. Twelve patients were subsequently released, and laws were substantially rewritten. I believe there was a movie, movie about, about that. that. In 1906, Upton Sinclair exposes the conditions inside Chicago Pig Slaughterhouse through his novel, The Jungle. In 1933, there was a, a secret congressional testimony about a book entitled War is a Racket. Retired Marine Corps Major General Smedley Butler exposed the government corruption known as the business plot aimed to overthrow FDR's presidency. 1962, through her watershed book Silent Spring, Rachel Carson exposed exposed the residual effects of DDT chemicals on animals and humans, inspiring widespread ban of DDT chemicals, and that went into effect in 1972. In 1963, John Paul Van, an American colonel, reported to his superiors and later on to the media that the American policy and tactics during the American Vietnam War were seriously flawed, and he was asked to resign his commission. In 1966, Congressional aide James Boyd and Secretary Marjorie Carpenter exposed the documents from the Office of Senator Thomas Dodd to show that Dodd used more than $200,000 in unreported campaign funds for personal expenses. Dodd is censured and loses his seat in the next election. In 1968, A. Ernest Fitzgerald, a Department of Defense auditor, reports a $2.3 billion cost overrun in the Lockheed C-5 aircraft production. President Nixon reportedly tells aides to fire Fitzgerald, but he's reinstated four years later. In the late 1980s, Fitzgerald plays a part in the investigation that reveals that the Pentagon has purchased $200 hammers and $900 toilet seats. In 1969, Vietnam veteran Ron 
Ridenauer, an ex-Army helicopter gunner, writes a letter to Congress and the Pentagon describing events at My Lai during the Vietnam War, including torture, sexual abuse, mutilation, and mass murder of hundreds of unarmed civilians. Whistleblowers have been a part of American history since before the United States was the United States, and it continues to go forward all the way up until Edward Snowden and what is currently going on, which happens to be early October 2019. You can look up the current event if you'd like. The most notable one in my history has been the Edward Snowden case, but that's a topic in itself. So now you know your history hot topic.